So you actually believe the lies China's telling you? Hey, I get it. This is something I like about you, something I like about myself, and that is we tend to think the better and like to take people's word for something. When somebody says that they're doing a specific thing or somebody says that they are a certain way, well, we like to take their word for it. And that's good because it's not good to be suspicious of people all the time. It's not good to immediately think badly about a person just because of who they are or where they come from, that type of thing. And that's good. However, China is taking advantage of this part of our society and it's taking advantage of you. And I'd like to start by showing you a little clip. This clip that you're seeing now is the big celebration, National Day celebration. And this was happening in 1959 at the exact same time that China was experiencing some of the worst famine, starvation, death, cannibalism, all sorts of disgusting things. This was happening because of the bad policies put forward by Mao Zedong and the Communist Party of China, the same exact government and the same people that are still in power today. You can see the happy, cheering people. You can see this from an outsider and think, wow, China looks fantastic. Everybody looks wonderfully happy. Everyone in this crowd, everyone that you see on the cameras here, China must have it switched on. China must be a, a wonderful place, a paradise. Look at how wonderfully happy all the people are. And that's what China's good at, is hiding what's wrong with China and presenting this kind of facade to the rest of the world. Because while this specific footage that you're seeing right now was going on, millions and millions of people were starving to death in China. Horrible, horrible things. Some of the worst atrocities in the history of humankind were happening at this precise time. So switch it up to modern times when you see exactly the same thing. Now with Xi Jinping instead of Mao Zedong and the same happy crowds and the pageantry and the fancy military stuff and all that just showing you how great China is and how much China has achieved, etc. It's just a big thing for the camera, of course. And you probably think, wow, China's such a happy, progressive, amazing place once again. But this is exactly the same, just a modern updated version of what you saw before when all those terrible things were happening. And I tell you, right now in China, there are a lot of terrible things happening. There are huge societal problems, massive inequalities, big issues with the environment, big issues with what China's doing and transgressions that the CCP is pushing onto the rest of the world. Some very, very serious things. China's no paradise. You have to get that out of your head. And that's the problem. People are always, when they look at my videos and I point out a problem with China, trying to say, oh yeah, well, America's worse. But they're morons because how do they know America's worse? You know how they think they know America's worse? It's because America has a transparent society. When something happens, when a high level person, for instance, is accused of rape, they get scrutiny, public scrutiny, there are trials held. There are witnesses that come forth, even false witnesses. People say whatever they want. They're still taken seriously, you know, and it still needs to be investigated. We have a press, which is like a rabid dog that'll go over any, like after any little bone. And it doesn't matter how bad, how big or how small, they'll go for it. And it's a private press. So you have different angles. You've got a, a kind of a left-leaning press, mainly, and a right-leaning press as well. And you've got a, a centralist press, although that's kind of missing these days, I'll be honest with you. And you've got different, um, you know, corporations, all with their own backstory, all with their, their own agenda and bias, but they all attack it from different angles. So you get a pretty whole picture of what's going on in any given circumstance. Homeless problems, hell. I mean, people love to go and film the homeless stuff and put it out there for everyone to see because it's a problem that needs to be addressed. So for your average American, when you're seeing this news all the time, because it's out there, you have access to it. It's allowed to be shown on TV. It's allowed to be shown on the internet. When you see this stuff, you think, wow, America is a terrible place or the UK is a terrible place. Look, everyone's getting stabbed all the time or whatever the case. There's always something out there for you to see, something negative about America, the UK, Australia, you name it, any uh, big sort of Western democracy. However, when it comes to China, you don't see anything like that. When's the last time you saw a video about homeless people underneath a bridge in China? You didn't see that, did you? You didn't see that making the rounds on the internet. You didn't see the riots going on in China. Nope, didn't see any of that stuff. You think the BLM riots were bad? You should see some of the stuff that goes on in China that's covered up. People being murdered, 
It's pretty bad. You didn't see that stuff, did you? No, you didn't see the official who's been uh, accused of raping hundreds of young women. No, you didn't see that. That was all covered up. All the terrible things that happen in China are so slickly and swiftly covered up that you'll never know that they existed. And that's why your average American or Australian or whoever looks at the world as it is right now and says, wow, look how terrible America is, or look how terrible Australia is. Look how great China is. Because all you ever see from China are smiling faces, parades. Oh, look at the shiny cities. Oh, look at the technology. Look at this. It's all a facade. You guys need to wake up because I hate to tell you this, having lived in China for 14 and a half years, having lived in, Ch in South Africa for 25 years, having lived in the U.S. now for a number of years, I got to tell you one thing. China's worse in many, many, many aspects. China still has a long way to catch up when it comes to just basic things like having drinkable tap water, which they don't have. Electricity in the rural areas. Lifting people out of poverty. I know you hear that this is what China's done, but it's not true. They think that if you earn $400 a year, that means you're no longer in poverty. Let me ask you this. Do you think that if you earned $400 a year, I think it's $435 a year, would you consider yourself impoverished or not? Because China doesn't consider that impoverished anymore. The CCP says if you're earning $430 -odd a year, that you are now lifted out of poverty. So you believe these lies. Oh, look, everyone's lifted out of poverty. No, everyone's still in poverty. A vast, like, huge portion of the population, half of the population of China is in poverty in the rural areas. You get to see on the news the lovely shiny cities. You get to see on the news the happy smiling people, the, the bright lights that you see on the skyscrapers, the space program, you know? Look at how amazing China is with all their technology and all their achievements. What you're not seeing is the very real and terrible parts of Chinese society. And these are the parts that need to be improved and sadly will not be improved because they're not being called out, because there's never any attention pointed on them. As soon as someone like myself tries to say, hey, look, there's an issue. For instance, my video that I put out about working for a serial rapist in China, this guy was a monster and he got away with it because of the society accepts that a lot more than in a Western society. In China, it's kind of accepted that, oh, it's a rich, powerful man. He's going to be doing this anyway. So he got along with this nonsense for the longest time. He got away with it. He was imprisoning these women. He had them, uh, you know, kidnapped under lock and key. We weren't allowed to go anywhere, had to do what he said. You can go watch the video. It's pretty disturbing. I suggest you watch it because it's a real life experience that I went through. I've got video evidence and I've got photo evidence. You can go and watch it. I'll put a link in the description below. Either way, you've got this kind of situation. And people in the comments are saying, oh, if you think that's bad, what about, you know, the US? It's way worse. You've got Weinstein and R. Kelly and stuff. No, you see, this is the big fallacy. People like R. Kelly, Weinstein, first of all, they go to trial. They get sentenced. Look at what happened to R. Kelly. Witnesses come forward and don't have to be afraid for their lives and their families' lives like they do in China, because when you're rich and connected to the local governments and stuff, you make people disappear, like this ex-boss of mine did. You get public scrutiny. Everybody is talking about R. Kelly. Everybody knows about Weinstein, Epstein, all of these people. Everybody knows. I'm not saying that they're not a problem, but you see, this shows you how much more advanced Western society is compared to Chinese society. People are held to task. There's rule of law. In China, a thing like this happens, it's hushed up. There is no public scrutiny. Go and try and find out anything about this ex-boss of mine who's a monster. It's been scrubbed off the internet because he's got connections. Try. There's a few newspaper articles a few little clips here and there, small stuff for what this guy did. Not only that, he only got a four-year sentence, which he didn't serve the whole sentence anyway, and was allowed to go out and carry on about his business. His company's still running. You know, this is the thing. China is far behind in many aspects compared to the West. But morons out there keep trying to think that America, the U.S., or other Western countries are actually the ones that are terrible and far behind China. You see, China has you tricked. Look, 
I've got so many examples. You can look through my videos. But when I talk about problems that exist in China that I've witnessed with my own eyes, that I've experienced myself, that I have video evidence of, I'm not making this shit up. Food safety, quality of life when it comes to just uh, health because of the pollution and things like that. Construction quality. Um, the fact that there's no rule of law in in China, you can literally just be snapped up if they want to snap you up. People have no rights. You cannot own land. There are so many, many things when it comes to the way children are educated, when it comes to the kidnapping, when it comes to <clears throat> compassion in society. There are so many aspects of Chinese society which are very, very far behind the West. You cannot allow yourself to think it's not the case. Because you know what that does <clears throat> at the end of the day? is it does a massive disservice to the people in China who are suffering under this current situation. Imagine, just imagine you have some privileged American person trying to tell you, hey, our government's terrible and your government's great because it lifted you all out of poverty and you're sitting there earning $400 a year and being told by your government and this privileged American person that you are now lifted out of poverty. You see, that's how it works. Take them at their face value, what the Chinese government says. You tick it off and say, okay, that's done. Don't need to pay attention to that anymore. It's all okay. Everyone's out of poverty. China's great. No one's suffering. Oh, you know, they have equal rights for women. Bullshit. The women of China suffer greatly. I've made various videos about this, but you cannot follow this bullshit. When people try to come and tell me that the U.S. is worse when it, when it comes to these things, like these terrible mass rapists and um, women equality and all that kind of thing, you can go take a hike. China is one of the most unequal, most chauvinist societies in the world. Workplace harassment, look what happened to their so-called Me Too movement. It's just being crushed. There is no Me Too movement, all right? In a divorce, the court sides with the husband, sides with the man. That's how it works in China. It is a joke when it comes to these sorts of things when compared to Western countries and Western democracies. You gotta look into this a little further and stop the self-flagellation. Stop trying to win some kind of oppression contest here. Every single time I mention a problem with Chinese society, which is real, you'll get someone chirping up in the comments or multiple people saying, oh yeah, what about America? It's even worse. Go to downtown Chicago. Did you see the streets of Philadelphia? This and that and the next thing. Dude, what are you trying to do? Who cares? We know these things exist. Everybody knows about this, and it's good. I'm glad people know about these things that happen in America. But just because you know about bad things happening in America doesn't mean you can dismiss and play down the bad things that are happening in China. Wake up, guys. China has massive issues. And if you care about humanity, never mind just Chinese people, if you care about humanity, you would pay attention to these things. And I'm not just talking about the human rights atrocities in China, like the Uyghur genocide and all that kind of nonsense, because that's obviously very bad. People turn a blind eye to that all the time. But the average Chinese person, as happy as they might seem in these parades and on TV, when you see all this nonsense, that the, this pump and crap that the Chinese government puts on all the time, there are so many dissatisfied, displaced, disheartened, sad, sad people that are facing terrible hardships in China, and they're just ignored. And you know what? That's not fair. Seriously, guys, let's help the Chinese people by starting to actually take some of these things seriously. I'm not saying there aren't problems in your country that need to be addressed, or in the USA, or in Australia, or in South Africa, of course. And the thing about those problems is they're openly discussed. You already know about them. I already know about them. The whole world already knows about them. Everybody's appalled by the things that are going on in America, things that are going on in Australia, wherever. When bad things happen, we know about it. But nobody talks about the things in China. And that's how China has engineered this. That's how they have influenced the mainstream media. That's how they have influenced your mind. You somehow think that these problems are worse in your country just because you can't see them in China. So help the Chinese people by paying attention and not just dismissing the things I say in my videos, because they're true. Anyway, until next time, guys, you know the drill. As always, stay awesome.